Well, good afternoon, Admiral. How are you getting on? I'm all good. I'm all good, thank you. Yourself? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. I mean, obviously, it's it's such a difficult situation, isn't it? This for, for absolutely everybody really around the world and and not least you yourself and and being a professional footballer you're not able to do what you love yeah i think with the global pandemic going on everyone's sort of finding it difficult and like even footballers we're not we're not used to sort of being indoors for sort of this long we're just raring to get back outside what's it been like for you How, how have you been able to cope have you been doing a lot of exercises outside in a garden maybe or how have you been keeping fit so i've been mixing it up so sometimes i'll go for a cycle around my sort of area i'll do runs runs which i've been given by the last or swindon to complete and i'll provide that data to the relevant people so the sports scientists that sort of stuff in addition to that we've had like online sessions home workouts which we've been getting involved in as a team and completing them what has that been like, obviously, for you as, as being on loan? Because I, I guess it's made the situation even more muddled, really, for you because yeah. of, of, as you've just said, the example there, you, you've been getting patched from both clubs. So I'm sort of in between sort of Swindon and Leicester, so I'm just trying to keep my foot in both sort of teams and just trying to find the balance of when I'm getting interacting with my boys at Swindon and with my boys at Leicester sort of thing. Which is cool because I'm always like interacting with some people from like everyday life and work life sort of thing. You, you had such a good team morale, don't you, in, in the development squad at, at Leicester City that it seems such a, a tight knit, very close group. Yeah, all the boys, especially in the development squad, are really close. So like, not only on the pitch but also off the pitch as well. So some of the boys had planned to go on holiday together. And that sort of stuff. We do a lot of things off the pitch together. So we'll go for food, go to the cinemas, and that sort of stuff. Well, before this all happened. How have you been uh, been keeping in touch with them? Has it been video calls? You've been playing FIFA maybe with them? Yeah. So I guess so. During this past few months, weeks, all the boys have been getting on card, FIFA, and then we create parties and we'll interact through that. And then other times we'll just be on like. FaceTime to each other and just ringing each other group calls and that sort of stuff. How much do you miss the day to day just just seeing your, your teammates, seeing your mates pretty much every single day? I think loads really, quite a lot. I think you don't really miss it until you sort of you're not allowed to sort of do that thing. So I guess now it sort of hits you a uh, lot seeing my boys as much as I would want to and how much I normally would. What about the season as a whole uh, for the development squad? Because you were on fire, weren't you, as, as both an individual yeah. and as a team as well? Yeah, so for me personally, I think from September up until January when I did eventually go on to Swindon, the team was in a really good place. We were, I think, second in the league, fighting to win the league. We were still in the Czech Trade Trophy. So we would be in teams like Sunderland at the Stadium of Light, which is a huge win. We'd gone to Doncaster and beat them comfortably 3-0 away from home. I think the next fixture for us was Newport at the time I left, so we were in a real good position going forward. What about your individual form? Because obviously you were scoring goals, that's what you yeah. want to do as a striker, isn't it? Yeah, so myself, I think I was on a run of about, I think I was on like 10 goals. I think I had 10 goals by, Chris, by around January time, so... I was looking to get into 15, 20 mark at the end of the season. And I guess I was scoring goals, but the team was winning more importantly. So I was playing my part in the team and others were pitching in with goals as well. So it was just a good team effort. 